It's okay. Your brother knows he's wrong. We can help you with your trunk. Slow down. Huh? <gasps> oh, no! Hit subscribe and click the like icon. Coming right at you, Katie. I got it. <sighs> Katie, are you okay? Yeah. Thanks, Leo. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Jane. What's up? Hello, Leo. I found two baby elephants playing by their river. But one of them looks sad. Just look at this photo. What? A sad baby elephant? We can't have that. We need to turn that frown upside down. <laughs> Can you and Kitty come over to help me do that? Of course, Jane. We'll be there right away. Great. I'll send you my location. Ranger out. Ranger out. Let's see if we can find any relevant information about them. Right behind you, Katie. Here it is. The African bush elephant. African bush elephants are the world's largest land mammal. An average elephant can weigh up to 6,000 kilograms and measure up to 3.3 meters high. Wow, it's so much taller than Ranger Rocky. Elephants are known for their trunks, large ears, and ivory tusks. Their large ears help them stay cool. And unlike us, elephants can flap their ears. You mean like this? <laughs> Without using your hands, Leo. But it made you laugh. Hey, I know how to cheer the baby elephant up. There they are. Hi, Jane. Hi, Zoomy. Hi, Leo. Hi, Katie. Are those the elephants, Jane? Yes, they are brothers. Their younger brother is the one that is upset. The younger brother kind of reminds me of you, Katie. Uh-huh. Oh, here they come. Gee, thanks. Nice to meet you. Huh? Oh, no! Is there something wrong with his trunk? Yeah. Is that why he's sad? There's nothing wrong with it. <gasps> Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers. Elephants use their trunks to smell, grab food, and take dust baths. They also use them to suck up water, then spray it into their mouths to drink. African elephants have two finger-like growths at the tip of their trunks that allow them to grab smaller objects. So elephant trunks are pretty important. But baby elephants must first learn how to use them. Aww, the younger elephant is sad because he's not as good as his brother. Then let's teach him how to use his trunk. What a lovely idea. Good luck with that, Junior Rangers. See you around. Bye, Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Go on, give it a try. Put your trunk in the water, then suck. Aww. It's okay. Let's try again. Huh? Whoa, that's a lot of water. He's like a fountain. Hey! <gasps> Where are you going? Come back! It's wrong to show off like that. It's okay. Your brother knows he's wrong. We can help you with your trunk. Slow down. Huh? <gasps> oh, no! Oh, no. He is trapped. Hang on. We'll get you out. Jane, you stay here with Zumi to watch him. The rest of us will get Platypus One. Got it. <gasps> oh, no. <sighs> he is all right. Uh-oh. Platypus One is not powerful enough. What should we do now? He's going to the river. He is soaking up water. But what's he doing with it? If we fill the hole with water, he can swim out of there. Good thinking, buddy. Come on, Rangers. Let's give him a hand. I don't think that's enough. It's going to take forever to fill it up. We need more help. Whoa. Amazing. What's going on? He called.
looking for Beko. He's instructing them. All right. It'll be filled with water in no time. Let's do this, Rangers. That should do it. Yes! All right. We did it! <laughs> we turned that frown upside down. Bye, Bye elephants. elephants! Whoa there! Aww. Aww. He'll be fine. Big brothers can get annoying sometimes, but they'll always be there for you. Huh? Something is coming. Huh? What's coming? It is here. <gasps> Sandstorm! Everybody, get into Platypus One. Katie, activate the window shield. Wait, where's Hero? <gasps> Hero! I'll find him. Hurry, get inside. Got it. Okay? Yep. We sure are. I'm glad we got out of that sandstorm in time. You okay, Hero? You scared us. <laughs> huh? huh? That's not Hero. Oh no! I grabbed the wrong animal. I'm so sorry, but what are you? And what's with those enormous ears? Over here. I sent you a photo of it, Katie. Can you find out more? Sure, Leo. That is a fennec fox. The fennec fox is the smallest fox in the world. And it lives in the desert. But Hero isn't, and he's out there alone. Sandstorm or not, we've got to go back for him. Let's go! What are you waiting for, Jane? Come on! <sighs> we are too late. <gasps> Uh-oh. How are we going to get out now? We are trapped. This cave goes on forever. Maybe there's another exit. <sighs> but I can barely see ahead. It's too dark. Just use a torchlight. <gasps> Good thinking. Who's there? Just me. Huh? Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky? How did you get in here, Ranger Rocky? I was caught in the sandstorm and found this cave. I entered from another entrance. Then let's head there immediately. But much like this one, it's now blocked. Oh no! Do you know how to get out of here, Ranger Rocky? We have to find Hero. Hero? Huh? Where is he? I wanted to grab Hero and escape the sandstorm, but I grabbed a fennec fox instead. Well, we can all take a lesson from your new buddy and dig our way out. Then what are we waiting for? Let's start digging! All right! Would you like a shovel, Ranger Rocky? No thanks, Katie. I'll just do it Fennec Fox style. Jane? <laughs> Same here. All right, Rangers. Let's get out of here! Ah, it feels great to be out of that cave. The sandstorm has stopped. Now let's go find Hero. I trust that you're in good hands, Junior Rangers. If anyone can help you find Hero, it's the Fennec Fox. Besides its ability to dig, it also has great hearing and a keen sense of smell. See you around, Junior Rangers. Bye, Bye Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. What do you say we take you back and find Hero together? We could really use your help. <laughs> Hero! Hero! <laughs> the Fennec Fox found something. What is it? <gasps> a 
It's Hero's backpack. Look, a burrow. Wait, come back. We need your help. Don't worry. We won't lose him. Good thinking, Katie. Where's it going? <gasps> Baby fennec foxes. So it wasn't looking for Hero after all. Hold up. We would not have found Hero without the Fennec Fox's help. Thank you. And I'm really sorry I grabbed you by mistake. <laughs> it seems Hero made new friends while we were gone. <laughs> Bye, Bye, Fennec, Fennec Foxes! Foxes. <laughs> Here's my painting of Hero. Whoa, that's nice. How did yours turn out, Leo? Um... <laughs> it's a little abstract. Ranger Leo speaking. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Jane. How's the zebra migration going? Have they found fresh grass? Hi, Leo. Hi, Katie. The zebras are still on the move, but a mother zebra has lost its baby in the herd. <gasps> oh, no! Luckily, I have a photo of it. Can you come over to help me find the baby? Of course, Jane. The photo will come in handy. Hang tight. We'll be right over. Cool. I'll send you my location. Ranger out. Ranger out. Now let's go. Let's find out more about zebras. And get away from this pesky fly. Here it is. The plains zebra. Plains zebras are the most common species of zebras. Zebras are part of the horse family, and they are known for their black and white stripes. Every year, thousands of zebras migrate, traveling over great distances to look for food, like fresh grasses and water. Oh boy, that's a lot of them, and they all look the same. Actually, each zebra has a different stripe pattern. No two zebras have the same stripes. Like human fingerprints, its pattern is unique. So we just have to match the stripes. And since we have a picture of the baby zebra, it'll be a snap. Hmm, stripes and patterns? I think I'll bring our paint along, just in case. Good idea, Katie. Look at all those zebras. Hi, Jane. Hi, Zumi. Hi, Leo. Hi, Kitty. Don't worry, Mama Zebra. We'll find your baby. <coughs> Let's see. Oh, wow. That is a lot of stripes. Whoa, too many. Huh? Leo, are you okay? Oh, thanks, Katie. <laughs> the stripes are a little confusing. Hmm. Let's see what else we can find. Ouch! Not again! And I thought the fly in our backyard was bad. This fly is worse. It bites! I got it! It says here that scientists scan zebra stripes like barcodes to tell them apart. Uh-huh. So, we can do the same thing. I'll make a zebra stripe scanner. Got it! Now I just have to... Done! There is our scanner! Cool! You just have to aim it at a zebra. And it's a success if the stripes match. Aim at a zebra. Ugh, these pesky flies are getting in the way. Why aren't the flies bugging the zebras? Maybe it's because they've got stripes and you don't. <gasps> Ranger, Ranger Rocky! Rocky. What do you mean, Ranger Rocky? Not only do zebra stripes look cool, we're starting to find out that it could be pretty useful, too. 
Scientists think that one of its functions is to confuse insects like flies, making it harder for them to land on zebras. And if they can't land, they can't bite. Nifty, don't you think? I'll be buzzing off now. Bye, Bye Junior Junior Jackie. Jackie. How are we gonna get stripes, Katie? Oh, you'll see. This is so cool. It's a good thing you brought the paint over. Hopefully this will get those flies to buzz off. Now, let's get back to looking for the baby zebra. We'll have to scan every one of them. Katie, Hero, and I will use our jetpacks to get a better view. Jane, you brought your own ride? The baby's mother insisted. <laughs> let's go, Rangers. Jetpack jet activate. activate. <laughs> What if we scanned all the zebras at once? I'll have to use your camera, Hero. It's scanning. Let's see if we can find a match this time. Oh, what's this? It's a match. We found the baby. Yes! <gasps> Rio, no! Oops! <laughs> Huh? Oh no! Jane, we've got trouble! I know! Can you get to the baby? I'm sending you its coordinates. We'll take care of the herd. Got it! Stop it! Calm down! There's nothing to be afraid of! Hang in there, little one! We can't keep this up much longer! We need something to stop these zebras! Something to stop them? Way to go, Zoomy! We did it! See? Told you guys it'd be a snap! Well, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> I need you to attach the winch to Farah's dirt bike. On it. Jetpack activate. Done. Reversing now. My dirt bike. I thought I'd lost you. Thank you so much. No problem, Farah. Now I have to go get my handbook back. Your handbook? Yeah, the two-horned unicorn. You mean the Arabian Oryx. 
Oh, so that's what it is. The Arabian Oryx left with my handbook. It must be long gone by now. Don't worry, Farah. We'll help you get it back. Maybe Hero can find its scent. <laughs> and I'll scan the horizon with my binoculars. Nothing over here. Hmm, nothing over there. Wait, what's that? Huh? Ranger Rocky! Ranger Rocky? Hello, Junior Rangers! What are you Rangers doing in the middle of the desert? An Arabian Oryx ran off with Farah's handbook, and we can't find it. Do you know anything that might help, Ranger Rocky? It is said that an Arabian Oryx can smell rain from far away. Once it detects the scent of rain, it will travel towards it in search of the fresh grass that grows because of the rainfall. Hmm, rainfall? I can check the weather on my tablet. Rain clouds are gathering over there. Then that must be where the Oryx is heading. Thanks, Ranger Rocky. Let's go. Wait for me, Handbook. I'm coming for you. Good luck, Junior Rangers. There's nothing to be afraid of. We just have to move very quietly. Ah! Wait a second. That sound, it's really familiar. It's no ghost. It's just someone's bed sheet. An, An Arabian, Arabian Oryx. Oryx. The sheet was caught in its horns. But where's my handbook? <gasps> Please don't tell me you ate it. <gasps> There's another one. Now, what do we have under here? My handbook. Be careful, Farah. I'll get it for you. Pardon me, Arabian Oryx. Just have to get this for my friend. Got it. Yay, my handbook. Thanks, guys. It looks like it's about to rain. Bye, Arabian Oryxes. <laughs> now let's get out of here before my handbook gets wet. Ugh. What's that smell? And I don't mean the flowers, Katie. It's coming from over there. Hey, you! You're definitely getting closer. It's... Hero! Stay, Hero. Good boy. When was the last time Hero had a bath? I think it was... Hmm... Um... Oops. <laughs> I don't remember. Come on, Hero. It's bath time. <laughs> Hero, come back. You need a bath. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Kai. What's new? Hi, Leo. I'm updating my smell collection. I've been collecting different smells of animals and plants to use as smell bombs. Wow, sounds awesome. It is. I'd like to add the smell of a red panda to my collection. We'd be glad to help. Cool beans. Thanks, Leo. Ranger out. Ranger out. Hero's bath will have to wait, Katie. Kai needs our help to find red pandas for his smell collection. Red pandas? I'm sure the computer will give us more information. Red panda. Here it is. Even though they're called red pandas, they don't look anything like pandas. While well, both pandas share similar names and eat lots of bamboo, they're not closely related to each other. Does it say where we can find them? Red pandas can be found in the eastern Himalayan forests. They spend most of their time in trees. I'll tell Kai about what we found. Hi, Leo. Did you guys find anything? We sure did. Red pandas can be found in the trees of the eastern Himalayan forest, and they eat bamboo. So we'll have to search for a forest with lots of them. Great! I'll narrow down the search and send you a location. Ranger out! Ranger out! Hi, Hi Kai! Hi, guys! This is the perfect spot to begin our search. There's bamboo everywhere. 
Ew! What's that smell? A uh, hero hasn't had a bath in a while. Well, it's a very strong smell. I've never smelled anything like it. Speaking of smells, we should really begin our search for the red pandas. Of course, red pandas. But what now? Which way should we go? Do you guys hear that? Is that a red panda? <laughs> Ranger, Ranger Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers. What are you doing here? We're helping Kai look for red pandas so he can collect their smell. But we don't know where to start. Like skunks, red pandas release a strong smell to drive others away when they are afraid. I believe that's the stink Kai is looking for. Red pandas also use their smell to mark their territories. They leave a smell behind to inform others that the area belongs to them. Good idea, Hero. We can trace a red panda by the smell it leaves behind. I'll use my smell detection vision to find the red pandas. The smell detection vision detects the chemicals present in different animal smells. Right now, it's searching for the red pandas. Got it! Over there, guys! Bye, Ranger Rocky! The smell is strongest here! It's a red panda! Cool beans! Time to get it stink! <gasps> it's headed this way! <gasps> Oh, man! It's your new smell bomb, an earthworm. I already have that one. I just want the red panda stink. What if we tried getting closer to it? Jetpack, activate! Hey, wait for me! Hover boots, activate! It's just sleeping. How can we get it to release its stink? Ranger Rocky did mention that the red pandas release their strong smell when they're afraid. <laughs> Hero, it's not right to frighten the red panda like that. But do you smell that? It worked! That's the smell I'm looking for! Be careful, Kai. Yes, the red panda stink has been successfully added to my collection. Uh, uh, uh. Stay away! There's nothing for you in my backpack! Oh no! Katie is in trouble! Uh. What are those animals up to? No worries! The red panda stink would ward them off! One red panda smell bomb coming right up! What's going on, Kai? Where's the smell bomb? It's not shooting! I don't understand! There's nothing wrong with my smell bomb! I'll take that! Hang tight, Katie, and hold your breath. Yay, we did it! <laughs> Mission accomplished. Okay, Leo, now I need you to cut Leo. Oops, sorry, Katie. Someone's calling me. Oh, hi, Kai. What's up? Hi, Leo. There have been sightings of the mysterious Tanuki in the Japanese forest. Tanuki? Tanuki is the Japanese name for raccoon dog. Some say that the Tanuki is a shapeshifter. Here, I'll send you a photo of it. That's just a myth, Kai. A story that isn't true. It's scientifically impossible for an animal to transform itself with magic. Which is why it would be incredible if my invention captures the impossible. I'm going to film the exact moment the Tanuki shapeshifts with my camera. Hmm. How about we look for more information about the Tanuki first? All right, Leo. I'll send the photo to my computer. Great. There it is. The Tanuki. The Tanuki, also known as the raccoon dog, isn't actually a raccoon. They may look alike, but Tanukis are more closely related to foxes, wolves, and dogs. Tanukis can climb trees and they can also swim. It didn't say it can shapeshift. But it didn't say it can't shapeshift either. Hmm. If anyone is going to prove the impossible, it's me. I have to find the Tanuki and film its shapeshift. Would you guys like to come over to help? Sure, Kai. 
Myth or not, we'd like to help you and find out more about the tanuki ourselves. Cool beans! I'll share the location where the tanuki was last seen. Meet you guys there. Ranger out! Ranger out! Yourself, Tanuki. Ooh, ah. It's just us, Kai. That's Hero. <laughs> Oops, sorry, Hero. Is this your video camera, Kai? It sure is. Meet the Chimera 1000, a state of the art drone with a superior 10K Ultra HD video camera. There's nowhere a Tanuki can hide from Chimera 1000. This is my new video camera. It doesn't have a fancy name, and it doesn't have as many functions as yours. But it certainly beats my video camera. It's all cool, guys. I could use all the help I can get. Great! Kai can wait up in the trees in case the tanuki decides to climb up. Let's get into position, rangers! Any luck, guys? Nope. Not me! Hero found something! Camera's rolling, guys! Let's go! It's going into the log! Quick! Before it escapes! Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky? No way! The Tanuki turned itself into Ranger Rocky! Sorry, Junior Rangers. I'm no Tanuki. I'm just Ranger Rocky. But how do we know you're not a Tanuki that shapeshifted into Ranger Rocky? Would a Tanuki know how to talk? Well, um... Look, Kai, I think the Tanuki got away from that hole instead. Oh, man, how are we going to find it now? Tanukis can be tricky to spot. It's especially easy to mistake a Tanuki for a raccoon, but you'll never go wrong if you look out for their paw prints and tails. While the raccoon leaves paw prints that are similar to humans, the tanukis are more similar to foxes and dogs. Also, raccoons have striped tails, but tanukis don't. Thanks for the tip, Ranger Rocky? Huh? Where did he go? Look, it's over there! So, that's a tanuki, right? Not a raccoon? There are no stripes on its tail! That's definitely a tanuki! Yes! We're coming for you! You can run, but you can't hide from the Chimera 1000! No! Chimera 1000! <laughs> the camera is damaged! I can't video the Tanuki now! How could I be so careless? It's okay, Kai. We still have my camera. But it can't fly. Unless... Wow, Katie! Your camera is just as amazing as mine! Thanks, Kai! We've got you now, Tanuki! Shapeshift! Uh, I'm sure it's just getting warmed up. Any time now! It's been hours, Kai. I don't think it's gonna shapeshift. These are not shapeshifters. <sighs> I guess you guys are right. So much for proving the impossible. Well, we tried. Come on, we should head home now. It's late already. Are you okay, Katie? I feel fine, Leo. Are you sure? Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Farah. I found a proboscis monkey that lost its honk. A proboscis monkey? That's right. They're known for their honks, but this monkey just can't do it. That's a pretty big nose. <laughs> Choo! That was a loud sneeze. It's Katie. I think she has a cold. 
and a really stuffy nose. A stuffy nose? Of course! Maybe the proboscis monkey has a cold, too. It can't honk because of its stuffy nose. Good thinking, Farah. We'll be right over to help. Thanks, Leo. Ranger out. There it is. The proboscis monkey. Proboscis monkeys have large noses. Male proboscis monkeys have larger noses than female proboscis monkeys. In fact, a male's nose can measure over 10 centimeters. So the monkey Farah found is a male. That's right. Their large noses help them honk louder, while proboscis monkeys use a variety of sounds to communicate. Males in particular tend to honk to attract females and scare off intruders. We have to help him get his honk back. Hi, guys. Hello, Farah. I found him sitting alone. <gasps> oh, dear. I'm fine. I don't have a cold. Let me check my handbook. Are you sneezing, Katie? I'm not. <laughs> Check. You have a cold. And just like the proboscis monkey, my handbook says you need to keep warm. I don't need to. <sighs> this feels nice. Thanks for the scarf, Farah. But I don't think keeping warm is enough. Katie's right. What else can we do? It says here that healthy foods can fight a cold. There are plenty of fruits in the forest, and fruits are healthy. Great idea, Farah. Let's go pick some for the monkey. This ripe fruit looks good. The proboscis monkey will love it. No ripe fruits for the monkey. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. <laughs> the proboscis monkey can't have any ripe fruits. Because of how their stomachs work, it's dangerous for proboscis monkeys to eat ripe fruits. They might fall sick from it. Instead, proboscis monkeys prefer unripe fruits. Like this one, Ranger Rocky? Yes, that's perfect. Besides unripe fruits, proboscis monkeys also eat leaves. Leaves sound healthy too. So we'll have to pick leaves and unripe fruits for the proboscis monkey. Glad I could swing by to help. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Bye, Bye Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. <laughs> Can you honk now? Oh dear, it didn't work either. What else can we do? Huh? What's happening? Hey! Where are you going? Wait for us! Whoa! Let's follow them. Behind. Let's cheer him on, hero. Jetpack activate. <laughs> oh dear, what's going on? The other monkeys are ignoring him because he can't honk. That's horrible. That's it. We have to help him get his honk back. Must find a treatment. Got it. Another way to clear a stuffy nose is to use steam. Steam? I have just that. Here, Leo, place this under the monkey's nose. Great idea, Farah. The hot steam from the tea will clear his nose. Here, Katie, you need this too. Ah, wow. I can finally breathe normally again. And you said you didn't have a cold. Can you honk now, monkey? <sighs> it's still not working. Wait, what's that sticking out of his nose? <gasps> Something stuck. It's coming out there. A leaf? <coughs> He's honking. <coughs> it wasn't a stuffy nose. His nose was stuffed with a leaf. They're friends again. Bye, monkey. Have fun. 
<laughs> Let's go home, Katie. We need to get you to bed. Mission accomplished. Hey, Leo. What are you looking at? Here, Katie. Want to have a look? Thanks, Leo. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Kyle. How's it going? Hi, Leo. I was camping on Christmas Island, and the strangest thing happened. Millions of crabs appeared out of nowhere. Millions of crabs? What are they doing? I have no idea. That's why I'm calling, Leo. It looks like they're headed somewhere, but I don't know where exactly. Here, let me send you a picture. Wow. wow! That's a lot of crabs! I can run the photo through my computer to look for more information. Sounds great, Katie. I'll get back to you once we find out more about the crabs, Kyle. Ranger out! Ranger out! All right. Let's go find out what the crabs on Christmas Island are up to. There it is. It seems those crabs are called the Christmas Island Red Crabs. The Christmas Island Red Crabs? That's right. Based on Kyle's observations, they must be migrating. The red crabs live mainly in the forest, but every year, when the rainy season begins, millions of them migrate to the beach to make babies. Before heading home, the female crabs place their eggs in the sea where they will hatch. Cool. Let me tell Kyle. Hi, Kyle. Hi, Leo. Did you find anything? Those are Christmas Island red crabs. They're migrating to the beach to make babies. Hmm, but some of them are going in different directions. What if they get lost? And what if they have to cross the road to get to the beach? <gasps> what if they get hurt? That'd be awful, Kyle. We'll come over to see how we can help guide the crabs safely to the beach. Wow, I've never seen so many crabs in one place. Hey, guys, glad you could make it. Hi, Kyle. Hi, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Hero is already making sure the crabs move in the right direction. Good job, Hero. What else can we do? I'll just get off right here. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers. There are plenty of things you can do to ensure the crabs get to the beach safely and comfortably. It's important to provide the crabs with water to keep their bodies moist as they travel over the land. This prevents them from becoming dry as they're exposed to the sun's glare. We can help with that. And I know just how we can get some water on them. Jetpack, activate. Good thinking, Leo. I'll help you turn the water on. Ready when you are. Ready. They're definitely enjoying it. Here you go, crabs. Plenty of water to keep your bodies wet. Let's see what else we can help them with. Look, the crabs have to cross the road to get to the beach. Isn't that dangerous? Not to worry, Kyle. There's an underpass specially constructed to provide the crabs with a safe passage to the beach. Barricades have also been placed to direct the crabs towards the underpass. <gasps> but there's a hole in the barricade! Oh no! Some of the crabs got through the hole. They're headed straight for the road. I'll fix this, Junior Rangers. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Then we'd better get those crabs back to safety. Carefully. There you go. Just grab onto my boomerang. OK. You can let go now. Is that all of them? Uh-oh, not quite. <gasps> we have to save that crab. We can use the jetpack, but we don't have to be the ones actually flying it. What do you mean, Katie? Put the jetpack on the ground and aim it towards the crab. I'll configure the jetpack controls from my tablet. That way, the jetpack can be activated without putting any of us in danger. Brilliant thinking, Katie. This should do it. And activate. Amazing. You 
did it, Katie! Good job, Junior Rangers. That was some quick thinking. The barrier has been fixed. No crabs will get onto the road now. Yay! That's great to hear, Ranger Rocky. Let's go, guys. I can hear the waves crashing. Here we are. The crabs have arrived safely. Wow, there's so many of them. From here on, they'll dig burrows and start making babies. In a month's time, the baby crabs will make their way from the sea to their new home. It will be a sight just as magnificent as this. I'm going to come back so I can watch the baby crabs migrate. Us too. <laughs> Mission accomplished. I'm glad we managed to guide the Christmas Island red crabs safely to the beach. Over here, guys. Why is Farah hiding behind that tree? Uh-oh. It's the invisible prankster. Take cover! Ah! Ah! Oh, oh, oh. Hero, over here. <laughs> I got you. So, who's shooting at us? What is that? Huh? It's a fish? Wow, a spitting fish. The spitting fish is an archer fish. Archer fish catch bugs and insects by spitting water jets at them. Sometimes the archer fish even jumps out of the water to catch them midair. Archer fish have great eyesight and they can hit targets up to two meters high. They're no quitters either. If at first they don't succeed, they'll spit, spit, and spit again. But if an archer fish spits to catch bugs, why is this archer fish spitting at us? A cricket? Over here! Oh, I think the archer fish is just trying to catch this cricket, but it's not very good at it. Well, from what we just learned, the archer fish will get the cricket soon. Any minute now. Its aim was way off. Oh, no. Is there any way we can help it? <gasps> Not my glasses. I need them to see. Oh, I have an idea. The archer fish probably can't aim very well because its eyesight is bad, just like mine. It needs a pair of glasses. Are you sure they'll fit? Positive. There. Aw, it looks like one smart fish. But why is it sinking? Oh, no. I think the glasses are too heavy for the fish, Katie. Hmm. What if we used a lighter frame? Or maybe its eyesight is not the problem. <gasps> Ranger, Ranger Rocky! Rocky. <laughs> what do you mean, Ranger Rocky? The archer fish sees just fine. It's just not a very good hunter yet. Shooting at bugs that live outside the water is pretty tricky business because things look different from underwater. Every archer fish needs to learn how to aim properly. It's not something they can do right away. When a young archer fish starts hunting, it's not very good at it, at first. But after watching other archer fish and practicing, it gets better at aiming and shooting. All it needs is more practice. We'll teach the archer fish how to aim and shoot perfectly. I'm sure you'll do great. Good luck, Junior Rangers. See you around. Bye, Bye, Bye Junior Rocky. Rocky. But how are we going to teach an archer fish to shoot? With a little shooting practice, of course. The most important thing to remember when you're trying to hit something is to stay cool and relaxed. See the target. Be one with the target. Ooh. Woohoo! Oh, yeah. One more. Show off. See? Just be cool. Now you try it. Uh, ah! How did he 
it even get to me? Whoa! My handbook! Ah! No! <gasps> You've got to stay cool, remember? Take a deep breath, then go for it. I know you can do it. All right! Way to go! You did it! <laughs> Run like the wind, hero! <laughs> Just keep going. You're doing great. Yes. Yes. All right. I think it got the hang of it. Then let's up the difficulty. Hero, time to take this to the next level. <laughs> cool. Look at it go. Targets that way! Our bags! Put that down! <gasps> you saved our stuff! Thank you! You're an expert now, aren't you? There's nothing more to teach you, Archer Fish. Bye, Bye Archer, Archer Fish! Fish. Legends say that a ferocious river monster lives in the waters right below us. And I'm going to find it. No! I'm not scared! Ah! What was that? Oh! Oh! Um, I think we should go back. Junior Ranger Pale, what's going on? Hi, Leo. I'm stuck in the middle of a river, and there's a giant monster fish in the water. A giant monster fish? Yeah, here's a picture of it. <gasps> Whoa, it does look scary. I don't know, Leo. We can't see it clearly. Let's clean up the image on the computer. Good idea, Katie. I'm right behind you. And there. The fishes in the water are red-bellied piranhas. Oh, no! Please come get me. Of course, Peo. Stay put and we'll be right over. Thanks, Leo. See you soon. Ranger out! Ranger out. Peo! Pico! We're here! Leo! Katie! I'm so glad you found us. Good to see you, Peo. Reach for my hand and climb aboard. <gasps> What's that? Whoa! You pale. Uh, 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 Phew, I'm okay. That was close. What is it, Hero? <gasps> There's a piranha on your back, Pale. Ah, get off my back! Shoot! Ah. Leo, it's over there! Get it! Get it! I know! I'm trying to grab it! Get away from me! I'll get it! Uh, uh. Is it gone? I think so. Huh? What's that sound? Is it a snake? <gasps> no, it's worse. Platypus One is sinking. We're sinking. Ah! Oh, no. What should we do? Quick, Leo. Activate submarine mode. Right. I'm on it. Platypus One, activate. Now. No more piranhas, please. I can't really see where we're going. The water's so murky. Switch on the lights, Leo. Oh, right. <gasps> Uh-oh. Yikes! The piranhas are following us. <laughs> ah! Let's use flight mode. They can't follow us if we're in the air. Flight mode, activate. Huh? Oh, it's not working. 
Oh no! Platypus one must still be broken! Come on, come on, work! Whoa! 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 What's happening? Ah! Ah! I can't control it! I don't want to die! Ah! Ah! It's coming for us! Whoa! Ah! Whoa! <sighs> what a ride! We're alive! What is it, hero? Piranha! Oh, oh no, not again! Stand back, Junior Rangers! Ranger Rocky! I got it! Back into the water you go! Thanks, Ranger Rocky! I thought we'll get attacked by the piranha for sure! They are river monsters! I don't know about that, but it was really scary! Actually, piranhas are not as scary as you may think, Junior Rangers! Red-bellied piranhas may not be cute and cuddly, but they are also not the monsters that TV shows and movies make them out to be. We've misunderstood them. I guess we just have to be careful around the red-bellied piranhas. That's right. Stay away and don't provoke them. What am I? Easy. A chicken. Next. A tiger. Arf, arf. Uh, um, uh, a mouse? Huh? A hero? Time's up! It's a dog! A dog! Oh, how could I have missed that? Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Farah. What are you up to today? Hi, Leo. I'm compiling a list for my Junior Ranger handbook, and I need your help. Sure thing, Farah. What's the list about? Have you heard of the Mimic Octopus? A mimic octopus? Here's a photo of it. It looks like an ordinary octopus. But it can disguise itself to look like another animal. It's really tricky to spot, and I need your help to find it. You can count on us. We'll be right over. Excellent. See you guys soon. Ranger out. The mimic octopus. The mimic octopus can be found in shallow, murky waters of the Indo-Pacific region. In its original form, it is light brown in color. But the mimic octopus is a master of disguise. It can change its appearance and behavior to look like other animals. Wow! I hope we get to see its transformations. Only if we find the octopus first. Bara to Leo, over. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. Awesome. Once you find the Mimic Octopus, tell me everything it mimics. I'll write it down in my handbook. You got it, Farah. Now remember, the Mimic Octopus can be anything, so keep your eyes wide open. Don't worry, I won't be fooled. Aha! I bet this is a Mimic Octopus disguised as a... Uh... An anemone? <gasps> that was fast! Anemone. Anemones are marine creatures that look like flowers and are related to corals. That's not a mimic octopus, Leo. It's a real anemone. Oops, <laughs> you're right, Katie. Sorry, Farah. False alarm. That was not a mimic octopus disguised as an anemone. It's not? Okay, no anemone then. Let's look somewhere else. The mimic octopus could be anything. Hmm, I wonder. What are you doing, Katie? Done. I just installed a scanner from my computer. We can identify animals and plants now. Huh? It says here that the coral is human. Is there something wrong with the program? Hello, Junior Ranger. <gasps> Ranger, Ranger Rocky? Rocky? What are you doing here, Ranger Rocky? I was practicing my mimicry by pretending to be a coral. What are you rangers doing here? We're trying to find out what creatures the mimic octopus mimics. Ah, the master of disguise. While the mimic octopus is not venomous, it is able to mimic other creatures that are venomous. 
By doing that, the octopus tricks others into thinking it's venomous and protects itself from danger. So, we should look out for venomous creatures. Thanks, Ranger Rocky. Ranger Rocky? Where did he go? His mimicry worked. But now we have a mimic octopus to find. <laughs> What's that, Hero? <laughs> it's on the move again. Now it's mimicking a jellyfish. Jelly. Now it's a, oh, a banded soul. A banded soul? It's a stingray. Banded soul. Stingray. Soul. Band ray. Jellyfish. Sting jelly. Wait, what? That doesn't make any sense. Urgh. What is it? Turkey. A turkey. What? I think it's a turkey. Turkeys don't live in the ocean, Leo. A special underwater turkey? Huh? Now it's walking. <laughs> what about a duck? Ducks don't live in the ocean either. I agree. That's obviously not a duck. Farah, you're here. I had to see this for myself. Besides, my handbook was getting very messy. Oops, sorry. I still think it's a turkey. Nah, it looks like an underwater mushroom to me. Oh, oh, fried chicken. How about some algae? An underwater furball? It's obviously a... Wait, where did the octopus go? It's disguised itself again. Could it be that rock? I'll use my scanner. That's a rock. That's a rock, too. Still rock. Or that seaweed? The ocean floor? It could be anything. Hit subscribe and click the like icon.